I met a firefighter um, from San Francisco. I was living there at the time. Uh, I just finished my degree at Berkeley and she was a friend of a friend. And she said to come to the fire station and just visit, and I did. And I remember being in the hall and just looking around and everyone ha was having so much fun. They were going on calls, just enjoying each other's company. And I was like, this is a cool job. I wanna do this. So at that point, I really, was like, I need, I need to do this job. I, I can't imagine myself doing anything else. And I didn't have citizenship in the States. So I ended up um, deciding to move back to Canada. It took a few years, I think altogether, probably about five years. Um, it took me three tries to get on. I feel really lucky that I picked Edmonton. I've had a great experience on the fire department. It's better than I even imagined. I love my job, it is the best and I am so glad I found it because I, I just can't imagine doing anything else. I love being with the guys, I love being with the crew. I love helping people. I love the feeling of doing hard work. If you would list of everything that a firefighter does, I would say yes, 100%, I want to do that all the time, <laughs> every day, because it makes me happy. I feel very passionate about it. There are eight women on the floor as firefighters and about 1,200 men on the floor. San Francisco Fire Department, they have about 200 women on the floor. So when I saw their fire department, that's what I was kind of expecting when I moved to Edmonton. So it was kind of disarming when I was like, oh my goodness, like there's not very many of us here. My friend, uh, Julie, she said, Daisy, don't be afraid to be the first. And I think that's really good motto. She's like, who cares if there's not very many women? You can be the first. Get through that door and show them that you can do it. We live in a society where there's a lot of gender gaps in a lot of different careers. And the fire department kind of has a very huge gender gap, obviously. And we need to close that to help society, you know, bridge those stereotypes. And I think it's important for people out there, not just young women, but young men that need to know that women can do it too, that we're strong enough, that we're just as capable as anybody to do the job.